Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of Shisha and Co. Today we're going to show you how to make a fruit punch shisha with vodka. This is your host Wael Ben and I present to you today Saba. Yeah. I'll cut through the chase today and I'll show you how to do it. At this point, you need a pomelo fruit and an acorn squash. Get two fruits that are almost the same size as the ones I have and attach them together. Take out your knife and start carving. Carve a circle on the top first and then carve a circle on the bottom. Take out the inside pieces and throw them. Now take your acorn squash and cut it in a half. Make sure it's flat. Take out your other knife Carve the center of the acorn squash. Try attaching it to the pomelo fruit to see if it fits. If it's a good fit, take it back and poke it with toothpicks. If it's not, take your knife again and try to carve it back. Now take your toothpicks and dig through the acorn squash. I don't even know why they called it that name, it should be a little pumpkin. Once that's done, try to place it back on the other fruit and poke through it. Now take your toothpick and place them inside the acorn squash's neck. Ain't that a beauty? Now take out your foil paper and place it on the other part of the small pumpkin. Place some toothpicks on the sides. Poke it with barbecue skewers from the bare back. Push them deeper because this is going to be the roof of the fruit shisha head. Now watch out for your fingers. Oh, bitch, I just told you to watch out. Now sprinkle your flavor but not like the salt bay this time. Separate it for airflow, add a foil paper sheet on it, seal it airtight, and please one more time, make sure that it's airtight. Shred that foil paper, rip it apart like it's nobody's business. Place the head's roof on the top and poke through the pomelo fruit itself. Chop that strawberry, poke the pomelo with toothpicks, Place the strawberries on it. Poke another layer of toothpicks. And place the grapes on it. Now chop an orange the way it's displayed. And place them on the acorn squash. Chop up a lemon. And place it on the roof of the fruit head. Now the top is up to you. You can poke it with a toothpick and put two grapes on the top if you feel like it. Might as well. Now take your alcohol and pour it inside the shisha. This must be a very easy step. Put as much as you can handle. I'm not gonna put too much. I'm just gonna put half a bottle each. In here I used a Belvedere, a Grey Goose, a Russian Standard, and I added lemon squeeze. It adds a lot to the taste. Since you're gonna have a lot of leftover fruit, just chop it up and put it inside the shisha too. I put lemon, orange, strawberry, and grape. Connect your ice hose if you have one. Place the head on top of the shisha. Use barbecue skewers for support. Otherwise, you're buying yourself a first class ticket to destination fuck like Ozzy Man says. Light up your charcoal. Place it on your vodka flavored fruit head shisha punch. And fire it up. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how to make a fruit punch shisha with vodka. This is your host, Wild Ben and Teva Sri. Coming to you from Shisha and Co. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for us to make you new videos. Have a good day. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck it loud. Fuck off.